here's a new little reel to reel. Well, it's not new, but it's not really new to me either. But this is one that I haven't I haven't really seen many videos of on YouTube. Um, this is a little Lloyd's all transistor tape recorder. Um, I'm sure some of you collectors may actually have these out there. Um, maybe Clyde Sight has one or Cassette Master. Um, but uh, I picked this one up, I think it was for $10, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at a uh, thrift store, which I also picked up with an old tube radio, which I have to restore. But uh, this is actually a neat little machine. It's in pretty good shape. There's a couple little scrapes and dings. You can't really tell on this camera because it's crappy. And uh, it takes three inch reels, which is quite interesting. And it's also rim drive. You can see the little brass thing down in the middle. There's a the little motor and it swivels and whatnot. And there's rubber around the tables and stuff like that. It's very similar to uh, the Craig that Clyde Sight has on his channel. Uh, this b machine was actually not left to be, like, just as a novelty and used, like, once or twice. This machine, according to this reel, was used by a language teacher. And there's, like, all sorts of, you know, there's, a Euro there's a bunch of European languages, like German and stuff on here. So it's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, I'm not going to play any of it because there's not going to much time. But uh, I do have uh, four reels. There's one on the machine. I have the empty one that came with it, which is the original Lloyd's reel. And I have these three. Uh, these two are actually Kodak film reels. They're the same size, and they got the same style of hub, so they fit, which is really kind of cool. On the front, there is uh, another grill to tell how much tape's on the reel or whatever. And there's also uh, the function selector. Uh, position over here is rewind. This is the center position with the white line is stop. Like if there's a white line on the knob, I mean. And then when it's on play, obviously, and then it switches one more over and it's record. There is no interlock. And then there's the volume control, which kind of speaks for itself. Also, I'm making an earphone. That'll take a minute. Now testing the Lloyd's all transistor tape recorder from Japan. The recording quality will give a DC bias cassette recorder from the early 1970s to run for its money, although there are some extreme drawbacks, such as the awful speed control. Uh, this particular one runs at about 3 and 3 fourths, um, but speed stability is, like, because it's rim drive, it's not so good. Because um, there's no flywheel to keep the speed balanced. It sounds um, a little bit like Alvin. It's actually, it's surprisingly well made. It's all metal, so it's going to take a beating. Now, this one was actually used by a linguistics teacher, so it was not just left as a novelty. C batteries uh, and a 9 I'm volt. recording on a fairly high level, be and speaking closer to the mic, because this machine does not pick up well with a dynamic microphone. But hopefully this will actually come out all right. I'm actually going to do a music test using the tune to Charleston, because it is not likely to be captured by WM WMG, or a music group. And uh, it's just, in general, a tune that would be suitable for testing this machine. Speed fluctuations. It doesn't actually sound too awful. <laughs> It's not the worst I've ever heard, but it certainly isn't the best. I don't know. Thanks for watching. This is one of the um, videos that I've actually planned to upload earlier, but never did. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.
this thus ends the vacation.